So we'll start with the meaning of what is project management. The association of pro project managers have defined project as a human activity that achieves a clear objective against a time scale. So from this definition, we can understand that a project management, a project is something which is done against a given time level. Project management body of knowledge or PMBOK defines a project as a temporary endeavor undertaken to create a unique product or service. So this definition says that uh, a project is something like a one-off activity. So and also it is a temporary one. It is not going to be again and again repeated. And at the end of a project, we create some kind of a unique product or a service. So when you combine both the definitions, you can uh, get an idea that a project is something which has to be done within a time limit. It is very new and it is a very fresh endeavor. And at the end of the project, it creates something of a unique product or a service. So now we look at the characteristics of a project. So every activity cannot be called as a project. Okay. So there are like a checklist against which all the boxes have to be checked. Only those activities can become a project. For example, uh, activity which has a specific objective is a can be called as a project. Also, the project should the activity should have a defined start and an ending date. It should consume a kind of resources. For example, people, equipment, finance, all these. It should be unique. It should be like only one time it is like created. So next time if we want to create, we have to do it with another project only. And there is also a cost constraint that must be like clearly understood to ensure that the project is viable. So there is a cost constraint which is involved in every project and it requires the organization of min material and labor. So if you can see here, every project is unique and they are done against a time scale with a set of a consumption of resources. And at the end of the project, something unique is like created. So only when an activity is like ticking all the boxes here, it becomes a can be called as a project. So for example, we will try to apply whether these activities can be called as a project like building a deck or a ship, implementing a new system like uh, uh, installing a new operating system in a computer or uh, creating a new software in a company painting the house, planning a wedding, planning a fundraiser, planning a student graduation. So do they tick all the boxes of a project? The answer is yes. Okay. So you try to find out like how each and every activity here ticks all the boxes of a project. So whenever we create a project, a project always has to be done within a certain boundary or limits. So these boundaries or limits or uh, restrictions are called as constraints. So every project has a constraint and a project can be done only within those restrictions or constraints. So predominantly we have three constraints or uh, they are called as a project triangle. So these constraints are time, cost and quality. So here we look at the project constraints in detail. So we have the three constraints scope, cost and time. All the function of these three constraints leads to the project's quality. So the scope refers to the features, the functionality, its uh, uses. So that what scope defines. The time refers to the starting time, the ending time and the scheduling of all the activities. The cost refers to the consumption of uh, finance, machinery, raw materials and labor. So that refers to the resources and budget. Project constraint is always a trade-off in nature. So if assume that we want to have an increased scope, we want a better quality, we want a better functionality, then we have to increase the time to do it and we should also increase the cost for doing it. Assume that we want to finish it within a quicker time limit or a deadline, then we have to increase the cost and buy more amount of manpower and uh, materials. At the same time, we have to reduce the functionality or the quality of the project. Assume that we have a tight budget, we want to reduce our budget, then we try to reduce the scope which is obvious, but at the same time we increase the time. So why they say as increased time? It is because that if we are going to do it within a very short period of time, then we have to purchase the manpower and the material at a higher price. But we, when we have a longer duration of time, 
we have we buy the material whenever it is cheap we recruit the labor whenever they are like cheap or whenever they are like surplusly available in the market so increased time actually reduces the cost of material and labor and reduced scope also leads to a tighter budget so if you guys really like the video put a like for us and share it with your friends who might find it useful so if you guys have any queries or questions post it in the comment section we'll be like happy to answer them if you guys have any other ideas for further videos uh, you can put it in the comment section we'll be like uh, creating a new video on that topic also so thank you guys we'll meet in the next video